Hi, Sandra here with another XDR Clinical Minute. This is part three of our series on the XDR Holder Kit. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to assemble a horizontal bite wing holder. In front of me, I have two bite pieces, a size one and a size two. Both bite pieces are for a horizontal bite wing. The size one is black and a little smaller. The size two is a little larger and white. I'm going to be demonstrating how to put together a size 2 holder since that is the most commonly used sensor. And to put together the size 2 horizontal bite wing holder, you're going to take your sensor and of course you'll have a barrier on it for infection control and I like to pull the plastic back so you don't have a lot of excess plastic hanging off the sensor. You're going to take your bite piece and you want to snap it into the bite piece. You don't want to slide your sensor into the bite piece because then you'll end up tearing your barrier there so you take one end of the sensor and snap it in and you snap the other side in. Make sure that the sensor is centered within the bite piece and you can use it in this position just like this. It works very similar to a tab but if you want to use an aiming rod and a ring you can do that also. For the paralleling guide system you want to find the rod that is labeled bite wing here you can see that and once you find the bite wing rod, you're going to take the pegs on that rod and you're going to place it into your bite piece here, the, the holes on the bite piece. So you take your pegs, place it in there. You're going to take your ring and your ring is labeled also. So you have one end that says BW-ANT. So you want the bite wing end. It lets you know what side to put the ring on. And you just take your ring and slide it onto the aiming rod just like that. Then you're going to take your cable. You have a little clip here for your cable. And once you can see that the sensor is centered within the bite piece and the ring, then you are good to go for taking size 2 horizontal bite wings using your paralleling guide system. Now you can use this same bite piece with the H stick guide system. So to do that, we're just going to take our cable off the clip there, take the rod off, you're going to take your bite piece and you want to use the H2 stick. That's the shorter stick in the H stick guide system. And this stick here is labeled. You have one end that says BW, the other end that says PA. So we want the BW end. We're going to take the pegs on that end and you place it into the holes on your bite piece. And you can use it in this position just like this. And this is nice because it gives you somewhat of a handle here. And if you want to use it with an aiming rod or a ring, you can do that also. You take this device right here. This is your rod. And you're going to take the peg on this rod and place it into the hole on your H2 stick. You'll take your ring, slide it onto your rod there. You also have a clip on the ring that will hold your cable. And Again, as long as you can see the sensor centered within the ring, then you can use your H-stick guide system for taking horizontal bite wings. And this is using the H2 stick. Now you can do the same thing with your size 1 sensor. And this is very nice to use on pedo patients. I like to use the H2 stick because it gives me a handle there and it makes it a lot easier to position in the mouth. But if you want to use an aiming rod and a ring with the H2 stick you can do that. But you can also use it with your paralleling guide system. You just take your bite block, place it onto your aiming rod. You can place your cable into the clip and again as long as your sensor is centered within the ring then you can take size 1 horizontal bite wings using your paralleling guide system. Now this is how you would put together your horizontal bite wing holders using your paralleling guide system or your H stick guide system. For more information on the XDR holders and the kits, please call the XDR number and ask for a clinician and they'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching part three of our series on the XDR holder kit and we'll see you in part four.